Okay, so today, this is day two. I don't know if I'm after today, but today we are going to go back into the painting. We're gonna block in some of the colors. Right now this is a dry canvas. I probably should have sanded it, but I didn't. Uh, so it's a little rough, but this gesso I put on here is gonna soak up a lot of the paint. So this is probably the most tiresome part. We're just gonna pile on the oil, get it on there, get a layer of it keep some paint thinner in it to keep it loose so it'll go on a little bit quicker, but then we'll go back and put thicker paint later. So we're just gonna block in colors and keep the painting so that it starts to feel toned, if you will. Okay, we're gonna get some burnt umber. We already have some black on here. And we'll get a little burnt sienna as well. I got a little bit of phthalo blue and some ivory black. Okay, so in this painting right now, we are working from dark to light. I'm just trying to get all the shadows in. I'm not paying too much attention to lines. A little bit here and there. I'm gonna come back in and finesse that later, but right now I just wanna get the, like, the shadows in, which the shadows are pretty thin, so it looks like I'm focusing on lines, but I'm trying not to. Um, so I'm mixing a lot of the phthalo blue, some raw umber, and some black. Uh, I'm trying to avoid pure blacks and just getting some dark colors to go underneath where I know I'm gonna want some shadows later. A little rush again, and then I'm gonna add some yellow ochre. Mix a lot of this raw sienna with the burnt sienna. Anyway, so there we are. Got the underpainting in. Come in later and clean up. <laughs> 